When you come to the end of a date, it can be really awkward to tell your date that you're not interested in seeing them again. But that's exactly what they would most appreciate if that's how you're really feeling. Leading someone on or leaving them in limbo. Limbo is awful, right? Because you don't know. You wonder, like as a dating coach, I've had so many clients come to me because they had a really great first date with somebody and then they never heard from them again and they don't understand what happened. But if that person had been brave enough at the end of the date to say, hey, you know what? I had a great time. This was really fun, but I just want to be open that I don't see us being anything more than just friends. So if that's okay with you, I'd love to be your friend, but I don't really see this going forward as a romantic connection. And I know that's a really hard thing to say, but honest to God, your date will thank you. I, I, I've seen this happen in my own life, right? I went out on a date once with a wonderful man, thought he was really like terrific in a lot of ways. I just really didn't think he was the guy for me. And then he called me to ask me out again, and I said that to him. I said, hey, listen, I would love to have dinner with you again. I had a great time with you, but I just want to let you know, I see us more as friends. It wouldn't be a date, if that's okay with you. And he said to me, wow, thank you so much for your candor. He said, no, I was really hoping to date you, and I, I don't want to be your friend. So thank you very much for telling me that. So that's why I'm suggesting it to you. If you're out on a date, and you're trying. First, I, I really think that you should try on any date to find out the best parts of that person because people are very frequently different on first dates from second dates. So if you're having a great time but there's that, just not that spark, give them a second date because that can grow in a second date when someone's a little more comfortable and, and maybe a little less nervous and you just see them in a different light. A second date has a whole different energy, usually in a much better way. So if you're on the fence, absolutely give somebody a second date. I think it could be really worth your time. But if you're sitting across from somebody and you're just thinking to yourself, yeah, wow, we have nothing in common, or you just really disagree with an opinion that they have that's really important to you, like a real deal breaker that you spot in your date that you really know, yeah, I'm never going to see this person again. It really is the kind thing to do to tell them that because then you're not in limbo, you're not wondering. Because if your date's really liking you and thinking that it's gonna go forward, it, it really is the kind thing to say, and you do it in a nice way, you know, don't be nasty about it, but you can just say, hey, you know what, this was really terrific, but I really don't think we're right for each other. I, I think if you want, we could be friends, but I, I really don't think we're a good fit. And I promise you, you'll get a really good reaction to that and people would be a whole lot happier with dating. Like, dating's hard. And everybody says that, right? It's, it's like, does someone like you? Do you like them? Like, you know, to connect with somebody on a really true level isn't easy. So I know we're all chasing that. But sometimes you don't connect with somebody immediately on the first date. And it does take a second date or even a third date. And then, wow, all of a sudden, they're the love of your life, right? So don't be so quick to judge a book by its cover, as they say. And if you definitely know that there's no way this person is a fit for you, the compassionate thing to do is to tell them that. Once you get used to doing that a couple of times, it's not as hard as it might sound. Really, people will have respect for you if you don't leave them hanging and they know where they stand. I think it's refreshing to get an honest answer from somebody than an answer that's trying to not hurt your feelings that ends up really hurting your feelings in the long run a whole lot more because they weren't just honest.